Hello everyone, welcome to this week's um, creative printmaking challenge with Stove Network. We're inviting you to experiment with printmaking at home and hope this is something that everyone can get involved with, whether you've got kids at home or you're looking for something to kickstart your own creativity. This video is for creating a collagraph print. So this is a flexible printing process using a textured plate. So you can experiment with materials you can find around your house or in your garden to build up textures and patterns. These are the materials you will need. If you don't have anything at home, try and substitute it for something else you can find lying around. Okay, so I'm going to start this off by um, cutting out a solid piece of card for my base. This is going to be the plate that I'm going to build on. Um, so I'm just using some cardboard from the recycling and then I'm going to start cutting out some shapes that are going to help build up the different textures. Um, for my collagraph. Here I've got some fruit netting that I found in the fruit bowl. To inspire your printmaking, we'd like you to think about where are the secret spaces in your life now. From the back garden to a blanket fort, a quiet local walking route to your bedroom, we'd love this to inspire the prints that you make. Things that you should be thinking about are, what are what's in your space? What objects are there? What colours are there? What textures and materials can you find there? And hopefully this will inspire you to get started. So once you've got your uh, pattern all laid out, you are going to want to stick it all down and then we're going to apply a varnish layer onto the top. So this is going to help the plate survive a couple of inkings so that you can wipe the ink off and repaint it. Um, I've done this with PVA but you could also use um, varnish if you've got some at home and then you have to leave it somewhere to dry. Okay this should be your plate once it's had time to dry um, and now we're going to apply the paints. I'm just using paints that I've got at home um, so have a look around see what you can find and begin to layer it onto your plate. Okay, so once you've got your plate successfully inked up, you're gonna take a layer of paper um, and lay it clean side up, hopefully, and Get your plate nice and square in the middle of your paper. There you go. And then I'm going to use a spoon because um, I don't have a roller. But if you had a printmaking roller, you could definitely use that instead. You could maybe use a small glass bottle as a roller. Um, but a spoon seems to work quite well. And you just want to get make sure you get all over the whole of your plate and cover all the corners before you peel it off. So there you have it. We'd love to see what um, printmaking activities you get up to at home. Maybe you can improve on, on our ideas so far, but if you could please share your designs with us, you can drop them an email to katieatthestove.org or share them on social media and use our hashtag homegrownedandfreeze.